we will be downloading Smart LCT for Mac. So there's two versions, version 3.50 and version 3.42. It should work exactly the same. For this example, I'm going to be installing the older version. To get here is the first link in the description, or you can go to novastar.tech. Uh, go to downloads here. Oh, I've just clicked on it, but downloads and software, and it will take you straight to the page we were just on with all of the different softwares for Novastar. I have a tutorial for installing this, and now this is an install tutorial for installing the Novastar LCD. So you go here, we click on the link. These are the different versions, just click on the link there. It will load for a second and then take you to the page. I've already downloaded it here to my desktop, save time, but you just download it to your desktop there and we'll move over to the desktop to have a look at that. So here we are, Nova LCT is a zip folder, unzip it and you will get this here DMG4 file. So that's what we're going to open up. Just double click on that there to unzip it and you will get this, the Nova LCT package. Just want to double click on that, open it up, and it takes you to the installer. So continue, continue. That's the README, and I can't read it because I've got mine in dark mode. Uh, where do you want to install it? So that's the installation type. I'm just going to keep mine as a default. So Macintosh hard drive. Enter your uh, code, password. Sorry for your Mac. You will then go and write the files, run the packages uh, you need, and this will take a couple of minutes, so we will come back. So then, once you've gone through the setup, you'll get to here, and you'll say, yeah, well, the installation is successful. Click restart, your computer will restart, and then I'll see you on the other side. So that's done. If you open up Finder, navigate to our Applications folder. I'm going to come over here to tab in S, okay, if you like. It's easy to S. You should see Smart LCT and then your version number. Just double click on that to open it up. Close down this, and this is what it looks like. So it should take it probably take a bit longer to boot up on your uh, first attempt. But then you go in and this is it. So if you're not connected to a screen, you can go into the offline mode. If you are, you can go into the online design and start working on the screen. I'll have a full tutorial on this channel coming soon for this software on Mac and on Windows if you're interested. So subscribe so you don't miss out on those videos if you are interested and I'm in the process of making a guide to how to use the software with the screens and a bit about the screen. So if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe, drop a like as well because that really helps the channel and I will see you in the next video.